Greetings, I'm Dan Baxter, Sales Engineering Manager at Open Gear. Today we're going to be looking at first day, every day, and worst day use case scenarios with a focus on first day. When our customers think about resilience and our, and our network resilience platform, many times they focus on the remediation phase. But there are two other important phases and a lot of value in other scenarios around deployment on the first day, managing the console servers and managing remote devices every day, as well as the remediation you get on the worst days. The first day scenario really involves two stages. The first one is to deploy the console server in an easy and predictable way and then to enable services on that console server so it can bootstrap the local LAN. There are several deployment options, including zero-touch provisioning, making API calls, but often in the new network, there is no network and those services are not available. You can copy and paste, which is a very traditional way of configuring the console servers, but a much more easy way to do it is to use a USB stick to configure the console server from defaults. And in the USB boot method, what we do is we take the personality component, the IP address, enabling the cell modem, getting it rolled into Lighthouse, and put that on the USB stick. And we take all the other global settings that you might apply to all units or a specific group of units and use that on a Lighthouse script template. Those settings are going to get applied when Lighthouse enrolls the node. If we look at the files on the USB stick, we have two, manifest.og, and a script file, this case called om1208-ad-sh. When the unit boots up, it checks to make sure that it has a USB stick, and it also makes sure that there's a manifest OG. Inside the manifest OG is a description of what script file to run. In this case, the script will go ahead, enable the cell modem, apply an IP address, and go ahead and enroll into Lighthouse. If we go over to Lighthouse, the other part of this is that we can look into script templates and see that we've uploaded the 1208 global settings. Now that that script template's been uploaded, we can include that in the enrollment bundle for the 1208. And we can see that the 1208 has its bundle name, its password, it has tags that we can apply. We're going to go ahead and not auto-approve it, and we also have a listing of the script templates. We're going to use the 1208-8-L as a great candidate here because it's got a combination of serial and Ethernet ports. Our first step here is going to go ahead and, uh, while it's powered off, attach the antenna, put the SIM card in, and then apply power to the unit. And our units do come in dual power. We're also going to attach the local console port of the CAT1000, in this case, to serial port 2. And we're going to take the first Ethernet port of the CAT1000 and plug it into the first switch port of the 1208. Now we're going to go ahead and insert the USB stick. What will happen is the system, at defaults, will recognize that the USB has been inserted. And it will go ahead and it will look for the manifest.og and it will start to apply the script. And so here you can see the output of the boot process showing that it has found the manifest.og and it is running the script 1208-8-L and it will show you that it is running all of the commands and verifying that they took. It's making the IP settings, changing the password, and enrolling into Lighthouse. And it's worth noting that at this point, the 1208 has been entirely offline Ethernet-wise. All of the enrollment, all the connection to Lighthouse has been over the LTE interface. If we go over to Lighthouse, now we can go into pending nodes, and we can see that the Lighthouse is, the, the unit is there awaiting for us to enroll it. And we can see that everything checks out on this node, the serial number, the Net1 address, the MAC address, everything looks good and ready for approval. After a while, we can go ahead and refresh and see that the enrollment process has completed. And then we can go up to the dashboard of Lighthouse. And we can drill down into node status and see that the unit is there. It's got all the settings that we're expecting. And if we go back to the local console port of that console server, we can see the script templates applying all of the global settings for that device. At this point, the device is now configured. We can go into the GUI of the console server, check out LLDP neighbors. We can see adjacency. We can look at the Ethernet settings. Everything is configured the way we want. We've got local users, TACAC settings, and all the other settings inside that script template. And this unit is now in production and ready to go. Well, that wraps up our demo on how to easily deploy OpenGear console servers on day one when there is no network. Thank you for watching.